Hey everyone, I'm Lauren Eloise and welcome to my channel if you've never seen me before. Hi, welcome <laughs> and welcome back if you have seen me before and if you're subscribed. I love having you guys here. As you can tell by the title of this video, it's going to be a rat cage tour. So many of you requested this so many times, so yes, I'm finally doing it. I'm really excited for it. It's something I've wanted to do for ages, but I need the house empty <laughs> for that and my parents aren't here, so time to film. I also tried doing my makeup again so that's why I look so done up. I'm not very good at it but I'm learning. I still have no idea what I'm doing to be honest. Anyway, so currently I have three rats. This is really sad if you haven't seen my other video but Charlie passed away about a week ago now. It really sucks that she can't be in this but yeah. I used to have three rats before but we, they weren't in this cage that I have now. It was a smaller standard cage that you'd get from like Pet Barn. But I saved up for this cage because you'll see in a second. But it is huge and it, oh, I love this cage. So I think how I'm going to structure this video, I'll talk about the cage that I have and why I like it. And then I'll show you it. And then I'll also show you a rat pen that I have where, where I have like free time with the rats because that is really cool too. So the cage they currently live in is a critination style cage. If you follow a lot of rat people or you're in like the Facebook group Rats and Mice are Awesome, a lot of people have this cage. It's a really, really good cage, but mine's not a real one because I can't get that here. So <laughs> yeah, mine's a fake unbranded one, but it's pretty much the same. It's, it's really, really high quality. The paint on it's really good, it, it hasn't rusted at all yet. I got this one from eBay in Australia, I think it cost about three to four hundred dollars Australian dollars, which is quite expensive and I did save up for this big one because I really wanted it and I had been waiting like three years to get one of these. Even the critinations you can actually get like one section of it, you don't have to get the top and the bottom, which is really cool. You can like build and expand like Lego. What I really love about this cage is its size. It's literally, I think like two centimeters taller than me. I could fit like three of my bodies stacked inside it. It's probably too big for three rats. Actually, no, I'm two centimeters taller than it. I was close, close. But still, like I could fit my whole body in there three times. I also love that the doors open outwards. My cage before, you had to rip the whole top half of it off to clean it, but this one you just open the doors and you can clean it. I also love that all the platforms, they're not made out of wire, they're actually solid ground. You need to be careful with cages that have wire at the bottom, you really shouldn't have a wire bottom cage because rats can get their feet stuck in it and break their ankles and it's not good for them. So this one, it's all flat, so I really like that. I also love that it's super easy to clean as compared to my last cage. It still takes about the same amount of time to clean. It takes me an hour to clean it. This one, I just open up the doors, I clean the bottom floor, clean the next floor, clean the next floor, clean the next floor, and then I wash all of the bedding and wash all the toys and then put it all back in and it's done. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I love about the cage, but let's jump into the tour on what's on each floor. So on the bottom floor, we have a standard water bottle. This one is actually glass. I, <laughs> I actually used to have a plastic one and I was trying to like properly clean it out and I poured hot water into it and I melted the bottle by accident so I got this glass one and what I really love it has this little plastic carrot and it floats to the water level which is really cute. I also have a litter tray which is just an old Tupperware container. I also put a rock in there because for some reason rats like to pee and poo on rocks. I also put little cat litter in that so it absorbs any wetness that might be in there. The cat litter I use is Breeders Choice. I like it because it's not dusty and it's recycled paper and like obviously I like saving the earth so it's like a win-win. I also have these towels on every floor. Some people use fleece but for me there's no fabric shops near me at all so towels just seem to work okay and the rats don't really care, they like destroying it. Beware if you ever get rats that anything you put on the floors, they fucking destroy it, they don't care. I always have like a big box down the bottom for them to, you know, play in. They they honestly love cardboard boxes so much. It's like the cheapest thing you could, like it's not even cheap, it's like free. Most basic thing you can get from for them and they love it the most. I don't know, it's just really cool. They always destroy it and then they like make little nests in it or store their food in there. 
like just so annoying. I also have little jingly ball things down the bottom that they sometimes play with. And also a cardboard tunnel which they like. The next level I don't really have much there. Sometimes I use, I have this red box which is literally an old lunchbox container that I, I cut a hole in the front for them to go in. On the next floor, this is kind of where they hang out the most. They hang out the bottom the most for food. They're always down there eating. But on this floor, they sleep and come down and drink. I have another water bottle up here. It's a smaller one. There's also another litter tray up here. I got this little wooden house at a car boot sale for five bucks, which was so cheap. It was like a guinea pig house. And I love it so much. They love it. They're always in it. But you do have to be careful with wood toys because because after a while they get yucky there can be like ammonia buildup so just be careful if you have wood toys there's also this hanging bird seed thing you've got to be careful with bird seed because rats aren't supposed to eat dried corn this is bad for them this has been hanging here for about over a year they don't really eat it but I leave it there anyway there's so much shredded paper I put some in every week so they can go nuts and like make little beds and just throw it everywhere and I have to come and pick it up off the ground because it fell out of the cage but again it's like recycling so it feels good to put in there and then there's another little ladder and then the top floor which is the penthouse this is where they mainly sleep all day, every day. On this floor, I always have a tissue box, which is where they mainly take all the shredding and like build a whole nest in there. They're pretty much always in that box. And then there's a ladder to get up into the two hammocks, which I switch around every week. Uh, again, <laughs> they bite holes in this, which is really naughty of them, but they're always in there, always cuddling together. It's so cute. Oi, hello, hello little. I see your ears are listening. And yeah, that's pretty much the cage. Now move on to the playpen area. So this area I made myself. I got core flute and then I split it into four or five bits. I think it's about 600 mil high. So they could jump out of it, but it's a bit hard for them to jump out of it. If you want to do something like this, for when it's like their playtime. There are like dog pens that you can get that are like enclosed and they're pretty cheap. I think they're like 60 bucks. Like it's not expensive to get. It just means like your rats don't have to run on your floor and accidentally get eaten by the dogs or eat PowerPoints or you know, get into the little bad areas. On the bottom I have like a old queen sheet just to protect the carpet underneath and then I have a city of boxes little houses everywhere once every six months I'll make a new one and get rid of the old ones but they stay in there for a pretty long time every morning my girls come in here while I get ready for work and then we share breakfast and then they also get to come in here at night for about an hour as well playtime and we get to have dessert or share something little small treat sometimes I fill up an old container with water and I put frozen peas in it and the rats have a ball playing in there trying to get them and eat them but the one thing that annoys me is that they don't eat the freaking skin of the pea they just eat the inside and they just chuck the skin everywhere it's like why it's the same thing just eat it uh, i can't get angry at them though i love them they're so cute they just generally have a good time i just let them do whatever they want in here there's no rules they can just run around do whatever and yeah that's pretty much all for the cage tour and the playpen tour give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it also leave a comment letting me know what kind of rat videos you want to see next i really enjoy making rat videos and i want to make more i have actually i've got another rat video planned but i'm not going to tell you what it is because it's a secret one. Get, guess what you think the next rat video is gonna be, okay? Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week in a new video. Bye!